What's up, everybody? It's been forever since I recorded a video. Do you guys see what this is? My laptop. So what does that mean? I'm not recording this video on my laptop. I have a camcorder, I've had it for a minute, but I finally remembered to get it from my mother's house and I finally bought a tripod. So, I'm excited. Now I can make videos, it's much easier, it's just, and you'll be able to see me clear, which is cool. All right, so on to the video, people. This video is gonna be pretty random, I can say that. I'm gonna be going over like my favorites that I discovered this month, things that I've been using, loving, seeing great results from. Now, I know I was supposed to do a haul video for you guys, but you, I've, I've been shopping kind of a lot lately. I had a great Mother's Day, which also led to a lot of shopping as part of my Mother's Day gift. So I don't wanna bore you guys, you know what I mean? So if you guys are really interested in seeing that, like let me know, leave a comment, let me know. I just got a new concealer. Now usually, what I use is the Boyoing Concealer by Benefit, which is great. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's super, it has a lot of coverage, super mommy, opaque, mommy, which I, I need for too. dark circles. I love it too. <laughs> but it was kind of drying on my skin. I needed something that had more moisture. And since it's a summer, well, regardless, year round, you should always be using an SPF product on your entire face. And I didn't, I realized like my eye cream doesn't have SPF, my concealer doesn't have SPF. And when I put my SPF cream on my face, I don't go under my eyes usually because it can kind of burn. So this is what I ended up getting. And this is the Studio Finish Concealer with SPF 35, and I am an NW25, if you guys can see that. This is the first concealer that I bought from MAC, and I've been using it and loving it. It definitely has the same coverage as the Boyoin, and it is more moisturizing, which I've noticed in the skin around my eyes. And also, you can't, you gotta love the SPF 35. I mean, like, you guys have to try to just remember how important it is to have SPF on. Because myself, I'm guilty of forgetting to put it on my face. And definitely something that you want to not forget. So I use this and I also have a sample here of, it's just a sample, of the Fast Response Eye Cream, which I'm loving. It's like such a great primer. Everything goes on really smoothly above it. And it's also moisturizing. Like these two combined, are very moisturizing to my eye area, which I was having like some dryness going on all in this area and not happy about that. So, definitely recommend the Fast Response Eye Cream. I will be getting full size of this product and this concealer I'm loving. And another thing to show you, let me find it here. One second guys, come here. Okay. Go say hi. Hi guys. Right. So to give you guys an idea of the comparison, this is the Boing by Benefit, which I use O2. And as you can see, it says three grams net weight, one ounce. That is how much is in here. Now, this is the MAC. Do you see how big the size difference is? So you would just assume, and like thickness wise, they're like pretty much the same, right? You'd assume that this one is the one that has the more product, when actually this one, the MAC, has seven grams, 0.24 ounces, which is more than double what you're getting over here. And the MAC is like two or three bucks cheaper. So this is a keeper for me. I also bought another, um, mineralized blush and this one is in gentle. It's really pretty. Oop, I have it. There we go. Just <laughs> that again. That. Swatch it for you guys. Can you guys see that? It's really pretty. First mineralized blush that I bought was in Dainty, which is this one. Which is more of a peachy pink, kind of comparable to the NARS Orgasm. And here's the swatch of that one. So you can see the difference. This is gentle, this is dainty. 
And this one, I have to really like put a lot on for it to show up, depending on how dramatic is the, the look I'm going for at the moment. So gentle, I actually have to be careful not to overdo it. So there's the two, which this one looks super dark, but it's really pretty on. It's really pretty on. So that's that, I'm loving that. Another thing I purchased recently. I filled another palette. I'm excited about that as well. Nice. This right here. Shoe Amaru Eyelash Curler. All right. I have to clean mine, but this thing is off the chain. I love it, I love it. I tried eyelash curlers before and it was just a, a hot mess. It was like not working out. So I tried that. Hello? What's up? You locked your keys in your car? 